hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here and what we have here we can write this that this x times x times x we can write that as x cube minus x times x as x squared which is equals to 100 on this side the next step here we take 100 to the left hand side and this becomes x cube minus x squared minus 100 then equals to zero here the next step here we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 this this equation becomes x cube minus x square then minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets and equals to zero here that is yeah this minus open this bracket and we have x cube minus x square and minus 125 plus 25 equals to zero here. And also from what we have, I express 125 as 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 cube. Then also 25 as 5 times 5, that's 5 square. Then this equation becomes x cube minus x square minus 5 cube plus 5 squared equals to 0 here. The next step here, we bring the power of 3 together, we have x cube minus 5 cube, and the power of 2 together, we have minus x square plus 5 square, then equals to 0 here. Watch this video to the end, give it a thumbs up, put your comments. Share this video and also subscribe. Then this year we can write it as x cube minus 5 cube into brackets. Then here minus is common we factor it out. We have minus into brackets x square minus 5 square left close bracket equals to 0 here. That is the first bracket here follows when we have a cube minus b cube. And this same thing as a minus b into brackets open brackets a square plus a b plus b square then also this bracket following we have a square minus b square this same thing as a minus b into brackets open brackets a plus b then when we follow this here this equation becomes x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus bracket then minus this bracket give us into brackets x minus 5 into brackets open brackets x plus 5 plus brackets then equals to 0 here that is next step here we have x minus 5 common and factor it out then what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets open brackets here we are left with x square plus 5x plus 5 square which is 25 then here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5 close brackets then closes bracket equals to 0 here that is next step here this minus open these brackets then what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket here we have x square plus 5x plus 25 then minus x minus 5 close brackets equals to 0 here that is next step what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets open brackets here we have x square 5x minus x gives us plus 4x and 25 minus 5 we have plus 20 close brackets equals to 0 here. watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up put your comments share this video and also subscribe then next step here we also have two possible cases the first one we have x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here that is solving on this side we have x equals to 5 which is a real solution here and also on this side we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 then applying the quadratic formula we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square 
minus 4ac over 2a. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 20, we have 80. Then all over 2 here. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80, we have minus 64 all over 2, which also can be written as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 is minus 1 all over 2. And this follows when we have root a times b, which you can separate as root a times root b. That is, here yeah, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 all over 2. Then, Next step here, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8, then times root minus 1 is i over 2. That is, we can separate this as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. Then 2 goes in minus 4, that's minus 2. We have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus, it goes in. 2 goes in eta, we have 4r. At this here, we have two complex solutions here. Then, all together in this given problem, we have three solutions here. When we write it, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high, and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 i. At this we have one real solution and two complex solutions here. Of course, when we check here for s equals to 5, we substitute into this given equation. At this, this equation now becomes 5 times 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5. Is it equals to 100 on this side? When we look at this, 5 times 5 times 5, of course. That's 125 minus 5 times 5 is 25. Is it equals to 100? Then 125 minus 25 gives us 100. That's equals to 100 on this side. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then x equals to 5 satisfy this given problem. And when we check for these two complex solutions as well, this also will satisfy. The given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell and share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment and see you next class bye for now